What is up everyone? The Toy Man 52 here with another terrible toy review and today I'm going to be reviewing finally Ursa Major, the build a figure of this wave. I've already done videos for all the figures in the wave already, so if you haven't seen them yet, check them out. Uh I thought Ultron was the best and then Module Iron Man, Falk Guardsman, Stealth Iron Man, Dark Star, Iron Heart and Hologram Iron Man. That's how I saw the order. It was a good wave overall. I uh, enjoyed that we had a comic Iron Man wave, uh, just really focusing mostly on Iron Man and then a couple of members for the Winter Guard. Uh, finally, we're completing some teams. You know, we're getting closer and closer. So I'm going to start putting this figure together, and I'll do that right now. So this way you guys can kind of see. So he has back piece that just clips on and then he also comes with an extra one to uh slip on i guess shouldn't be too hard arms popping in pretty easy no uh struggles yet so there we go Oh boy, it's always the legs that are the most difficult. I'm going to do it off camera, sorry. There we go. So that one clicked in pretty easy. They do say left, right, and the legs, so it's pretty easy if you can't remember which one was supposed to go where. All right, now I got his legs on. The left leg was really difficult for me. Um, and now I'm going to put it on his head. Should be hopefully easy. Make sure that's on there correctly. <sighs> yeah, here we go. Holy crap, that one was hard. The legs were just a nightmare with this guy. Yep, so there he is. So I'm going to do some comparisons real quick. All right, now here is Ursa Major compared next to Sasquatch and Wendigo. And... It's a whole new Build-A-Figure. Uh, nothing is shared. Um, I remember I was thinking that something was going to be similar, but no, really, everything was new with this figure. The arms are exactly, uh, you know, they're not the same. Like, uh, here you can see he's got, like, that pin joint, which I didn't even realize it was there before. But here, clean, no, no pins. His legs still have it, though. Um, but even the back piece, different than uh, Sasquatch's. I'm pretty sure it's different than Wendigo's as well. Yes, it is. So, very new figure. I didn't grab Zen Zenmu because uh, I figured it was so close to Wendigo. I mean, he's got some different parts, too, but... Yeah, uh, nothing compares to this guy. He's got new articulation for the torso. It's just that old, much much more improved uh, joint. But this was, a, I remember Toy Biz was originally doing this, and they didn't do a good job with it, but I think they got something better now here uh, that Hasbro came up with. It, it definitely works much better than the uh, standard ab crunch that we've always gotten with all these figures. And they're transitioning away from it a little bit more and more, I think, uh, from the standard ab crunch. I think they're going back to this, you know, uh, torso articulation. Because, like, they did that with Ironheart. You know, they're they're doing it with mainly female characters male characters i guess they don't need to really do it but they've been doing it on some of the iron man figures um ultron also in this wave was doing it so a lot of figures in this wave were using that new articulation i think so we'll see if they uh do it more but here's ursa now next to the rest of the winter guard um looks like a really cool team uh, this is how I'm going to have it displayed on my shelf. I'm going to have these four next to each other. 
So it really does look cool. I did want to point out that he's just a bit over eight inches tall. So he's a little bit taller than Crimson Dynamo. Um, just by like a little bit, not, not even that much, but, uh, maybe about the same height even. It's kind of hard to tell, but you know, no, nothing, nothing too big. It's not sir tall. So it's all right. And you know what? I kind of thought this would be funny. Um, and this isn't really related to Marvel Legends at all. But when I was just looking at this guy, I just constantly thought of Man Bear Pig from South Park. And now I'm really like debating. I'm looking at some uh, characters in this uh, Marvel Legends. Like the other build of figures mixing some pieces up possibly making a man bear pig i know that sounds kind of stupid but i think that would be hilarious um so if someone ever does that i'm like looking at rhino i'm looking at blob i'm like thinking who can who can make this happen and look like man bear pig overall guys i like this figure i think it's a great build a figure it's all new nothing reused um and it completes a team so overall i thought the wave was great you know a few things could have been better but hey it is what it is all together though we've we've gotten worse you know so this ain't this ain't that bad of a wave it's pretty cool so they're in stores now go and check those out i also have all the videos up just as a reminder check them out uh please like and subscribe and i will see you guys on my next terrible review